from the solar box. So this is our new factory. Um, we just now uh, got it and we're installing. Um, solar box is the first renewable energy based mobility solution um, in Senegal and in West Africa. Um, so the idea is that um, Africa um, is an enormous continent, 1.3 billion people, and we actually use a lot of vehicles. We use trucks, we use three wheelers, we use two wheelers, we use cars. Um, there are over 26 million uh, vehicles on the roads in, in the continent of Africa. Um, and we realize the, the demand on um, energy resources. Uh, as a matter of fact, Senegal alone imports $2 billion of petroleum every year. Um, and if you extrapolate that to the continent of Africa, Africa imports $100 billion of petroleum products every year. And 40 to 50 percent of that is for transportation. So our insight is that um, the continent of Africa is also the place with the greatest amount of sunlight. Uh, according to NASA, uh, Senegal gets 6.2 kilowatt hours per meter squared per day of sunlight relative to um, uh, Europe, which averages between three and four kilowatt hours per day. In fact, Germany's, um, uh, Germany's solar insulation is about three kilowatt hours per meter squared per day, and that's one half of the solar energy that arrives in Senegal. So we have the solar resources, and we have also the technical know-how to develop our own uh, electric vehicle industry. Um, and so that's the idea for solar. Hello everybody, my name is Ibrahim Ajain. I'm a freshly graduated uh, student in engineering mechanical. I just got my degree in mechanical engineering at uh, Davos. Hello, my name is Mohammed Mustafa Say. I'm a freshly graduated engineer and student in mechanical engineering. So I'm 22 years old and I'll be pleased to explain you and put you throughout our project. Actually, the world is facing a major uh, problem, which is pollution, mm -hmm. and also the dependence on fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. And you know that uh, every year pollution kills at least uh, 9 million uh, every year, mm -hmm. and it's also responsible of many diseases like heart, uh, heart disease and lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, our startup, Solarbox, has uh, launched in last February, has decided to tackle the transition from fossil fuel to electrical vehicles, but also to bring a solution to the lack of charging station, of a, especially uh, of a big charging station. Mm -hmm. So our main objective is to develop a sustainable mobility solution, but also a, a energy generation and a production solution, mm -hmm. which will uh, help at least to um, to, to push it out to, 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 to bring a solution to lower the pollution and also fight against climate change by adopting mm. electrical vehicles. Basically you can see different batteries, two inverters, one DC box, a PV, a PV array, and also the, fam the famous AC box. So how everything works? We're gonna place the solar panel all over the container, which is basically 18 solar panels. All of them will be placed in series and parallel, and then come all the way to this PV box that will get all of the energy from the solar panels. Then it will flow through the DC box, we will provide the electricity for the battery, for the batteries for them to charge, but it will be also regulated by these inverters. Right after that, they roll all the way back to the, the AC box, get again inside the inverters for maximum AC power output of 220 volts, which will be plenty enough for charging almost five vehicles per day. We have two working prototypes actually. The first one is the battery charging station. It's an off-grid solution uh, where basically you have uh, two retractable doors or wings that provide more surface area. Uh, hence, we were able to put up to 18 solar panels, each one, each one being 375 watts. This will allow a total output of up to 6 kilowatts uh, of electricity. And everything will be stored into lithium, three lithium-ion batteries, each one being uh, 10 kilowatt for a total output of 30 kilowatt. Um, the, next, the next project, which is the electric vehicle, is actually an EV three-wheeler. 
Uh, why did we go for an EV two-wheeler? It's because there is less restriction um, compared to the four-wheeler and the two-wheeler counterpart, and also it's light manufacturing. So we just use off-the-shelf. We just use off-the-shelf parts. What is off-the-shelf part is a pre-assembled chassis with every of its component already in place, and we just had to modify that combustion engine and put a five kilowatt electric electric motor. So the cargo box is made of. Uh, galvanized steel uh, metal. It's one millimeter of thickness. And uh, this uh, structure has been cut by a laser cutting machine. So the, the idea is to put a light behind so that the solar box can, 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 can shine. And uh, the structure manufac manufacturing was uh, uh, quite simple. So what we did is uh, we first modeled the the, 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 the cargo, cargo box, the design, and then we uh, send it to our uh, uh, partner, uh, which called TRC. So they were able to manufacture the, the cargo. And what they did is they cut each side with the laser cutting machine. And if you can see on each ed edge, they bend the, they fold the, the sides. So that means this part was assembled with this part by, by uh, bending machines. Uh, as I mentioned about the solar charging station, station it's mainly made of a uh, 20 feet container. So why we use a container? Because country, uh, container has uh, many advantages. Uh, first is mobility, is flexibility, and secure. So the main objective were uh, to, to use a container and also to modify it so that it can look like a solar charging station. So actually, as I mentioned, we have retractable wings uh, supported by uh, a trator that can open and close as wings, actually. And uh, so about the three-wheeler, we did what we call retrofitting. So retrofitting meaning mean uh, actually going from a combustion engine vehicle to electrical vehicle. Uh, it has many advantages. It is cheaper, and so it's cheaper to uh, compare from designing a new vehicle from scratch. And actually, it has also, uh, you know, it's more reliable. Yes, it's more reliable. So actually what we did is uh, replacing the powertrain of the combustion engine to a powertrain of the uh, electrical vehicle. So all the pieces, new pieces, has been designed. I designed the pieces and he did the manufacturing. So we're going to show you later the connection we, the connection piece we designed between the uh, electrical, the, 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 the motor of the electrical vehicle and the drive shaft of the combustion engine vehicle. Both prototypes prototypes are, are working actually. Yeah. Uh, in terms of business impact, as I was mentioning in the context, uh, we live in a world where IC, IC engines are going gradually replaced, they are going gradually ex extent. So the solution that we're providing is electric mobility. Uh, the tr electric tree will, uh, will actually be able to get to be leased and for transportation of goods. It can get up to 500 kg cargo space uh, and also 80 kilometer of the total range, which is actually pretty usable for all of the infrastructures and the industries that need to transport their goods to be their B2B businesses. Uh, next up is the EV charging station. Uh, the major, major issue we have uh, with the transition of uh, IC engine all the way to electric vehicle is the fact that state, the charging stations are basically on grid. Uh, which tends to make those grids pretty unstable. So the biggest business impact that we can provide from the, char the charging, charging station is the fact that it's an off-grid off uh, charging station. What I mean by off-grid charging station, it doesn't need the grid. It's just, use it, it just making its own power throughout solar energy. I'm Ibrahim Messis, a fourth-year student doing mechanical engineering at Dows. I'm here at SolarVox as an intern. I'm here with my elders, uh, Muhammad Mustafa Say and Ibrahim Jain, who are students who just graduate at Dows. They are the full-time engineers working here at SolarBox, and they they're working on EV vehicles. Now, as an intern, we came here. I came here as a mechanical engineer, being supervised. Uh, uh, being supervised by my by my elders Muhammad Say and Ibrahim Jain, everything's related to 
car design, manufacturing, and mounting the models, all those parameters have been supervised by them with their help. So basically, we can see DAOs is moving forward by having full-time engineers working on an innovative project. Hi everyone, my name is Mamadou Saho. I'm from DAOs. I'm a fourth year student in electrical and computer engineering. So I have an internship at SolarBox. Uh, I'm here for everything that is in terms of wiring. I'm responsible for the wiring uh, for the Jakarta and the wheelers you have here. So also for the container with the solar panel, uh, I'm responsible of making the wiring and check if everything is okay or not. That's why I'm here. So the challenge was, okay, how do we develop this electric mobility industry in Senegal? And that's where Doust comes in. Um, you know, CD is a, is a friend of mine, and uh, we've been brainstorming about um, the various technologies that Doust was actually able, capable of producing. And so we, we initially partnered to kick off this project um, with uh, Doust um, to build the both the um, solar, the uh, uh, the actuator-driven uh, solar boxes, and also the electric drivetrain. Um, and so, uh, Doust has supplied solar box with uh, a number of engineers who are have come on full time to work on this project. Um, and uh, really, we think that having a world-class engineering institution just next to our factory is a great advantage for SolarBox and for everything that we're trying to do. Um, and so essentially, SolarBox, just to wrap it up, is a partnership between Doust and Wuri Ventures. Wuri Ventures is a fund, uh, an investment fund, a venture capital fund that I manage that also gets involved sometimes in incubation. SolarBox is the collaboration between Doust and Wuri Ventures in incubating uh, a homegrown electric mobility solution uh, starting in Senegal but destined to the rest of the continent.